it's Tony Mallet here from the WeThinkToThrive.com team and I've got a special set of videos for you for your success and this is video number one in the five truths for your success from the humble, humble avocado. Now, my humble avocado is just here. Here he is. Now, this set of five videos, I'm going to use the avocado to give you some incredible truths that will help you on your dreams, on your path to success, on finding that ideal relationship, on improving whatever aspect of your life it may be, diet, fitness, you know, whatever goal you can hold in your wonderful imagination. The avocado has five special truths that you're going to remember throughout this set of five videos. This is video number one. So first of all, I have cut the avocado in half, as you can see here, all right? And we can see that inside the avocado, we've got this soft, or first of all, we've got this very hard outside skin, but then we've got this soft flesh inside, which is the part of the avocado, of course, that we put on our salad or that we eat, and it's delicious. Now, inside the avocado, there is the seed, but there's the seed. You know, when you cut into an avocado, you'll find that it's quite, it's quite soft until you get to the hard seed inside. Now, this is truth number one, but before we move on, let me ask you, the word avocado has two special halves to it. If we cut the word avocado in half, there are two special aspects which will be really powerful for you to remember on your path towards success. Now, do you know what they are? Let me show you. Here's the word avocado. Okay, in today's video, the first truth that we're going to talk about is the power of evoking an idea, but then the doing. Let me explain a little bit about that. Well, first of all, if we cut the word avocado in half, we get the word avoca. Do you know that avoca is a small town, village in Ireland that during the 1700s was one of the largest copper mining places, locations in Ireland? So avoca was a huge copper mining location. And when we talk about mining, when we talk about mining our ideas, mining our thoughts and ambitions and dreams from within. Isn't that a great way to remember how the avocado can remind us about certain truths? You'll see in a minute when I come on to the do. So first of all, let me say this to you. You evoke or you mine from within, remember the name of the village, you mine from inside you an idea that resides inside. OK, and then when you mine that idea, you pull that idea up. You follow that on by doing. So we're all given with this incredible ability to hold an idea in our head with our imagination. We can mine that uh, uh, idea, remember? Mining, the copper mining, we can mine that idea, bring it up to the surface, and then start to do. But you have to have this equation this way round, as in avocado. If you try and do it the other way round, you'll fail. But here's a great truth. A lot of people expect the soft flesh to happen first. They want that soft flesh to, you know, to eat and enjoy without, first of all, developing that hard centre, that seed, that spiritual idea that you've got inside your wonderful imagination. Now, a lot of people will go through their goals and dreams trying to develop the soft flesh without realising that at the centre, you have to have the idea. Now, Napoleon Hill in his great book, Think and Grow Rich, says that once you develop that idea, that spiritual prototype, that idea of your dream, your ambition, your vision, it's already a done deal. You've got to hold on to that, hold on to that passion with a white heat desire. If you have a dream, a passion or a vision you can hold in your imagination and it's as hard as this seed, it's a white hot burning desire, for something you want to create in life, hold on to that and have that first, and then it will start to flesh out. In fact, if I try and show you this one, you'll see here, this avocado. Can you see how it's fleshed out? So it starts with the seed, and then it fleshes out around the outside, but get it in that right order. And if you forget that order, 
Go back to the word avocado, remember to mine, to evoke, and then you do the doing. And a lot of people get that the wrong way around. They, they venture off towards their dream, doing, 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 action, 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 but they haven't got in place a burning desire like that hard seed inside the avocado to start with. Whatever you can hold in your mind, your wonderful, marvellous mind, and get emotionally connected with and feel it and see it, you're going to bring that into a visualisation and you're going to bring it to be a reality. This is a great truth of life. Now, I've got a tool for you, which you can follow by just going to the link below, wethinktothrive.com. I've got a gift for you. And I'm going to show you in that gift what I do to, to develop this imagination and, and make that seed, that seed, that idea, stay strong and true so that the outside world can start to flesh out the inspiration, the connections, the attractions, the opportunities. What's your hard seed that you've got inside your mind, as hard as that avocado seed that you can't cut through with a knife because it's so hard, you can't destroy it? Start with the seed and then see your life flesh out around the outside. This is Tony Mallet from the WeThinkToThrive.com team with video number one on the five humble truths of the avocado. And I'm gonna see you in video number two. Here's to your success.